Hey, this is Rob with Let's Talk Board Games. I'm going to do a box opening of Zombie Side Angry Neighbors, and we know this is from Cool Mini or Not and Guillotine Games. Also, excuse the uh, sizzling of bacon in the background. My wife is preparing breakfast. So let's get this box open. All right, so this is actually a gift for me. This is one of the, the, uh, the sets that I did not get my hands on early on. So my beautiful wife picked it up for me, I believe through Amazon. So let's see if I can get this open with one hand here. Just take my time. Um, I was kind of reluctant from to getting getting this one just because I don't spend as much time as I normally or I used to on playing board games. I've been playing a lot of role playing games lately. Once I get the plastic off, we can take a look at the uh, box art. There we go. You know what? Next time, mental note: just take the plastic off before we start recording. There we go. All right, so like always, great box art from Cool Mini or Not. And there's the back of the box. List of things that are inside here. So I've heard we all know about the new mechanics they have with this set. Um, we actually, I think I mentioned this in the game before, or a video before, I'm sorry, that we actually have a, quite a few house rules we implement when we're playing this game. Uh, one of which, the damage that zombies do. We normally do uh, walkers and runners. You actually roll dice for them to do damage, and on a roll of four, five, or six, they do a character, they deal that character one wound. Um, for fatties, on a roll of three, four, five, or six, they inflict one wound, and abominations need to hit, they hit on two up. So, uh, again, great art in the rule book here. I love their production quality. Looks to be some new missions. I can't wait to try these out. see wound cards and weapon cards and probably zombie cards in there. More wound cards are always great because again in our house rules we uh, allow three wounds before you're dead. Great, more plastic. So I was not prepared for them to have plastic. So let's do the best that I can do real quick. I'm getting this open. One on camera. Bear with me for a moment and I will uh, do what I can. It's so early in the morning I don't have my knife on me. So, note to note, always keep a knife on you, even when you're sleeping. All right, there we go. Not too tough. Okay, so, almost got this plastic off. There we go. So, here are the new characters for this set. Zombiver, Zombiver, or whatever it's called. Sheet. And I don't even, we don't even play with those rules.
which I might use his. Yeah, that's pretty cool with mask on. She has a uh, axe that is also like a guitar neck. That's pretty cool. A small sheet of uh, tokens here. Barricades. Survivors. Just some more of that stuff. Now I wish they would actually do one with like children so you could do like a mission you've got to save the child, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Or the game tiles. Next to the, you know, I think this would fit in nicely with uh, Toxic City Mall. This is a pretty cool one. Pet Shop. Oh, Pet Shop. Let's see here. And this is another one. That's pretty cool. So again, great artwork on all the tile. Um, let's jump to the miniatures real quick. I love the boxes. I mean, I love the quality that they put. And their stuff, you know, a lot of games you get, it's like, they'll just throw the miniatures in the bag and we all work and stuff. But not these guys. These guys, they spare no expense. These guys are pretty dark. So let's get some more of them. There we go. Also, sorry if this whole thing is dark. I don't want too much glare on them, so. The zombies and a small box of our survivors. Again, you can use this for anything. I do a lot of role playing, so having so many wrenches definitely come in handy. All right, so. As you can see, quality is just getting better. The scopes are really good. These are probably some of the best ones I've seen yet. I mean, these are better than a lot of miniature companies that put things out. I really wish Cool Mini or Not would start their own line of, of miniatures. All right, and I just noticed that there was two of each survivor. Hmm. That's actually good because I can take one out and, uh, or not survivor, I'm sorry, neighbor, survivor, whatever. Uh, I can take one and throw them in the stack with my uh, other miniatures that I use for role playing. But anyway, that's it. Zombie side, angry neighbors. All right, guys, if you like the video, please like it. Um, comment and subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see you want to see more board games you guys want to talk about role playing a little more let me know all right take it easy